me in my eyes. I ain't never told no lies. Rock a big fat size. Welcome back to my channel. As you know, my name is Teray, and today I'm going to be reacting to Little Aaron's Glowing Pains. Um, I'm excited to get into this because he actually came up on like my Spotify playlist or either in my library. And I was like, who is this? And it was Little Aaron. And I was like, sus, I gotta check it out. Like this video and subscribe down below. I create new videos every week. Um, I do know a little Aaron because of Kim Petras, but today I did realize that he was on a Black Bear album for Cyber Sex, and I really liked that album, so I'm like, how did I not know this was him? I don't know. So, we're gonna go through this and see what there, what is there, shall we? Is he saying, you don't know me because you're right, sir? I do not. Um, let me look up the lyrics here. <laughs> we talk about also this like album cover. Um, it's very like religious, I feel. Does anybody else get that vibe? And I, I love when religion comes to play um, in songs. It's just one of my things because um, it's just, it's it can have so many meanings to it. Um, yeah, you don't know me, you never knew me anyway. Dang, dang, dang. Well, we about to know you anyway. So, uh, uh buckle your seatbelts, here we go. combining a little bit of like it's not the typical rap song that you would hear and I actually really like that for him because he doesn't look like a typical rapper is he a rap <laughs> yeah I'm like what? let me find out what genre he is he's rock music really okay so he's like a, a, a emo kind of rapper well right right I don't want to offend <laughs> but like I can definitely hear the rock influences. I can definitely hear just rapper influences. Um, definitely. Interesting. I love that. Did a couple years in my mama's basement. <laughs> Is that what I would wait? Yeah. Took a couple years in my mama's basement. <laughs> That's usually the way it goes, but usually you're on to something. After a couple years, I think it's like usually in the year it's not gonna work, but like a couple years, there we go. Okay, so that's where I was like for the rock in the beginning, it was very like auto tuned. So I was like, how is this rock? But now I see it. Now I see it. Oof, oof. Would you imagine hearing this live? Oh, I'll blow my socks off. Is that the terminology? Blow your socks off? Because there's another one, but that's inappropriate. Okay. Okay. Definitely ramping up for something there. Um, I'm going to definitely hurt this track. It's reminding me of 100 Gets. Are they related? Are they in the same? Let a girl know, because that's what it's kind of reminded me of 100 Gets. I love it already, heart it. Heart it, heart it. It's something about this beat that is just like, when it, it doesn't even seem like you're trying. I don't know why. I don't know why. I I I just hear it and I'm just like heart it. I don't mm, no mm, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 
Just the way he flowed into that was amazing. Oh. I can I can see why he was on a black bear track. Guitar riffs are like symphonies to my ears. Oh man. Woo! Ooh. Ooh, that production in the boom. Oh, gee. Okay. That was stronger. I love that track. I love that track. Ooh, we're hearting it. It's going in my playlist. It's going in my library. Um, <laughs> can I just, it reminds me of like a between a Post Malone's Beer Bongs and Bentley's and Hollywood is Bleeding. That's what it's reminding me of. Yeah. And I can see it on both those albums. Oh man, that, that, ooh, yeah, we're gonna heart that one. That one might be my favorite on this album. We'll see. Okay, flex on them. Flex on them. Ooh, I, ooh, his flow is still, oh, Jesus, it's delicious. Yay. I'm waiting for that time where I don't have to rely on people and I can look at my bank account and feel confident enough to just leave those people behind, but I don't. Not right now. <laughs> I'm so glad. <laughs> Still waiting. <laughs> the wordplay there of he's like I don't need nobody and then the second time around I don't need nobody else ooh I, I like the else there it was it came down really really good ooh. this kind of reminds me of Kim Petras a little bit too uh, something she would do on her like on a single of hers so are those two friends I feel like they're friends like, I know they have songs together, but I didn't know if they were actually, like, friends, friends. Or they just work together. I don't know. But I could see, like, the influences of her. <laughs> oh. That sounds amazing. <laughs> I love the ending. The outro production that even I could pick up. The... That was awesome. Um, if you didn't know what that song meant, he don't need nobody. But he got money, so like he don't need nobody else. We're hearting that track. Automatically hearting it. I uh, Okay. All right. We're gonna heart it. 
The only thing I'm mad about is that song is a minute and 56 seconds. What? What? Oh man, that's such a good song. Why? Uh, I've heard a lot of bike sounds in this. Does he ride a bike? Question. Question of the day. Does little Aaron ride a bike? <laughs> Why does this remind me of like old school The Weeknd? What? What? to listen to this in my car oh it's, it's gone up <laughs> it sounds good like oh man it's just it's reminded me of so many other artists but at the same time it's a it's a little Aaron feel and that's one thing that if you're going to because you know with this day and age with the lul um if you're gonna take that lul you might you really have to pave your own way. <laughs> and I definitely think he did that. He definitely has a distinct sound that I'd be like, little Aaron now. Ooh. <laughs> this part is the, oh, this part sounds just sonically so good. I cannot stress that enough. <laughs> was not expecting that to come in at all. I'm so excited. Can we just have, just listen to this uh, do 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 like, oh. <laughs> Yes, we're hearting that track. If you didn't get my reaction from it, I love that track. Just sonically, it sounds good. And his flow on it, perfect. Like, it, it fit so well with the song. So well, I can't, I, like, I'm very surprised that he's not bigger. I'm very surprised. Very, oh, I'm confusion. What well, hard it and let's go on to the next track. when people just create music and don't even have a label it makes me so 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 happy they're like screw it i'll just do it myself i do not like this chorus all that much i don't but the production in the background i really appreciate um this next coming part See, I love that part. I love that part. Oh, I just wish the, the beginning of the chorus was a little bit stronger, but. Ain't that fun 
money. <laughs> if you knew what I made in the last month, I bet you would talk to me different. Oh, <laughs> oh I love it. transition into the next song was beautiful uh i am also hearting this song as well but i do not like that chorus in the beginning but i did like it towards the end of the song so i think i just needed to get used to it um the production was pretty really good again really good it hit when it needed to hit um and again the lyricism i'm gonna go to hell and i'm gonna take all my money <laughs> I mean but it, it's interesting to me because again going back to the album cover of him like looking like he's being crucified I, I I really like that symbolism of hell and religion playing a part in it I really do like that sound for the end of this album but I'm not sure if I'm gonna get it I mean now that I've come accustomed to the sound I'm more like um not surprised unless there's a change up there needs to be a change up here <laughs> Take that out. Take it out. Ooh, no. It, 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 it went out completely. That's not good. No. Am I? Is this going to be the first song I don't like? No. that time in the album where I it's like a place where I hit with uh, Charlie XCX's albums where there's so much production on a track that it just kind of draws it away and draws me away from listening to it I think this is where we've been <laughs> and I know I, I, I'm not it's just not sounding to me or like the other ones had like a really good like flow to it and this one just sounds kind of okay let's put this here let's put this here let's put this here and let's put this here i'm not sure how i like that i i'm not gonna heart that track i don't I don't know why it to me it was different I feel like it was just the production was too much on that track um I definitely feel like if you're gonna close an album that's not mm, uh, like I feel like that song should have been somewhere up in the middle of it and then put something else down there but like it just didn't sit with well with me I feel like there was too much production on there and it didn't need to um but again that's just my opinion um but mm, didn't like it. That was my reaction to little Aaron. Let me know down in the comments section. Should I react more to him? Should I not react more to him? Did you like a song that I didn't like? Didn't like? Um, did you like the entire album? Let a girl know down in the comments section. Like this video and subscribe down below. I create these videos every week. I'll see y'all in the next one. Bye. This was my ooh, drugs drugs oh can we go back to it can we go back <laughs>
see you guys in the next one. Bye!